What's up everybody? So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the 2017 F-150 Super Crew Lariat. Now uh, this truck looks a little bit sportier than just your traditional F-150 sitting on the lot and that's why I got the key to it to check it out. So let's do that today. So again we're just briefly gonna go around this truck, take a look at some of the features on it and uh, and just see it as we're seeing it right here on the lot today. So not too in depth, I don't wanna hold you on this video for 10, 15, 20 minutes, but we'll go around it and take a look. So anyway, silver in color, you'll notice here, and I, I want y'all to comment and, and, and tell me what you think of the truck. If I mispronounce a feature on the truck or anything like that, send me a comment. I really do enjoy reading it and sometimes y'all y'all spread some knowledge on me. So anyways, the headlights here, <coughs> excuse me, coming off a of cold. Um, headlights look like they're LED headlighting. I don't know. Maybe they are. Are they? Let me know. Those don't look like your regular headlights anymore. One thing I noticed when you hit that button, that whole that whole bad boy right there just kind of lights up real nicely. So I think that looks really good. Now this one has the red in the grill with the gray. Not my favorite color combination for a front grill. But hey, that's what Ford did on this particular model. And it kind of flows with the hood. You got your vinyl up there with that as well. I did notice right under that big Ford logo, there's a camera. And the one in the back, I call it backup camera. The one in the front, I guess that's a front, front up camera. <laughs> backup front forward camera, whatever you want to call it. The uh, lights down, the fog lights look almost exactly like the ones in the headlights. So I got a feeling it's going to be really bright at nighttime coming down the road. That's for sure. Uh, the body on the F-150 looks really nice. I was just down at Chevy earlier looking at the uh, rocky ridges and all that kind of stuff. And uh, you can check those videos out as well on my channel. But let, take a look at the, uh, the rims. First of all, they look like 20s. They got to be, right? But then I'm looking at them, I'm like, man, that's got to be even bigger. But it's not. It's a 20. So it's a 55 series tire with a 20 inch wheel. So not bad. 275, 55. Hankook makes those tires. Got a nice little tread wear on them. It doesn't look bad. It's a nice little pattern. Good looking gunmetal wheel. Matches up nicely with the rest of the vehicle. You know, I'm not sure what this button does right here. Is that a button? It looks like some kind of sensor. Um, so let me know. I'm not, again, haven't read the manual on this truck yet, so I'm not exactly sure what that is down there, but it's got to be some kind of sensor. The, uh, the mirrors are massive. I mean, God, Ray, look how big they are. They, they go in and out. They're big. Okay, you got that big light right there. I'd, I'd hate to be walking down the sidewalk and not see that mirror. That would literally knock you out like Mike Tyson punch. Okay, uh, that looks nice going down. So again, it just matches up with everything else. Uh, this truck here, uh, retail is $63,645, so it's got a hefty price tag on it. And uh, fuel economy is 23 on the highway, 17 city average combined 20. It's got the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. Supposedly, I've read online that that engine does just as well as the 5.0 liter. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, that'd be an interesting thing. Some of these companies like Motor Trend and Car and Driver and stuff like that, they've probably put them to the test. So anyways, Ravenel Ford pricing. Let me explain this to you because you might be watching this video and you don't even live in the Carolinas. First of all, this is pretty cool, I think. 63,645 is retail. 43,61, that's our discount we'll give you. 59,284, that's the price after that discount. We got a rebate of $500 right there. Easy price, 58,784. So nice little breakdown. Not a lot of car stores put it on the window just like that. That's good stuff, Ravenel Ford. Thank you for doing that. Also, they don't charge any dealer admin fees, no dock fees, none of those processing fees and things like that. You pretty much pay for the price they got on the window there, plus the sales tax and uh, registration. Anyways, FX4 off-road package. Got a nice little exhaust tip down there. Like you saw earlier, there's a camera in the front. There's also a camera in the back. Backup sensors. Tow package right there for you. Not bad. You got a spot to hook up your uh, your brake lighting and everything. So very clean. <clears throat> Look at that. That's pretty cool. You hit the button, it just comes down nice and smooth. No more grabbing it and boom, it's hitting the ground. Freaking just scared the crap out of your wife or your friend. <laughs> now the back back here looks good. I like this spray and bed liner. This probably came from the factory. Ravenel Ford does not put this stuff on the vehicles at the store here. So uh, <clears throat> that came from the factory. Very nice, very clean. And uh, still has this right here. 
As you'll notice, this is a little different from uh, previous year models. That pole right there now is pushed up in there. It used to kind of sit right here. And uh, that comes out and up. So I like how they did that. That really, uh, the fit and finish of that right there is a lot nicer. Okay? And now you don't have to do a whole lot of touching. Just pull it out, put your foot right there, and grab on right here and get in. So not bad. Okay, so once, well, hold on once. So what do you do first? I'm assuming, just go ahead and drop this down. Oh, I'm trying to do it with one hand. So you hit that, you hit the top button. And then there's another button somewhere under here. Let's switch hands. See, so y'all learn how to do this right here with me. Okay, so that button right there, there we go, does that. Hit the second button, it's got them right on there. Press that in. Now that's, that's like that. Do this. So not too bad. If you got two hands and not a camera in one, I think you'll be just fine. Pretty easy. Ford's done a good job on that one. Let's keep looking around. Also, you know, a lot of cases you got a toolbox right back here, right? Well, Ford's thought of that as well. Take a look at this. Hit that button right there. That opens up. And I'm about 200 pounds and it's holding me just fine. So now you got your toolbox right there. You can get in the back of that. I mean, cause that had to be annoying. And then I guess you just, yeah, you just push it back in with your foot, closes up, locks in. So anyways, got the key in your hand. It does got remote start. And uh, if you got a smart key like this, you just walk up, hit that button. It unlocks the car and hold on. Ooh. That's country boy luxury. Country boy luxury. There you go. All right, cool. So door opens up nice and wide for you to get in. Power mirrors, power seats, power windows. Okay, here comes your seats. Look at this. Leather. Got sport right on there. Then suede insert. Perforated with the holes in it. Got the red stitching. That's a really nice seat inside of this F-150. Lumbar support, power options, eight-way power seat. Very nice seats. Okay, leather wrapped steering wheel. Got huge display screens on the inside. Look at that, massive. HD, four-wheel drive, start-stop engine button right over there. Two USB ports, if you can see that down there. And you got heated and cooled seats. So uh, that's nice, got heated and cooled seats. They know us boys down here in the south need some cooled seats. And it's a great feature right there. Not bad at all. They've thought of everything with the Fords. I'm telling you, Microsoft Sync works with Ford and they do a great job keeping everything in sync together. So there you go. I was trying to keep the video under 10 minutes. We're at eight minutes. <laughs> do you got uh, sunglass holders right there? Home link up here, LED lighting on the interior, Sony stereo system. I mean, it's 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 jam up. It's got a lot of nice features. I think the only thing it didn't have that I just noticed was no sunroof up top. Here's your back seats. They're just as nice as the front with the leather and the suede and all that good stuff. Here's the back. No cooled seats in the rear, but you do got heated seats. You do got a 12 volt here. Or no, two USBs. And then there's that. Uh, let's see, there's that 110 volt, 400 watt outlet right there. And a 12 volt up here. And rear air for the kids and cup holders. And then there's some cup holders right there as well. I know my Ford's pretty good, folks. I like a Ford truck. Very clean. Got an no oh shit handle right here or just to get out and in. Solid. Very clean. Nice looking mirror. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, having a good time. You know, uh, one thing I can tell you folks, if you're looking for a Ford truck, you do live in the Carolinas, I can go ahead and tell you right now, Ravenel Ford's got a big selection. And as you saw earlier with the pricing and that sticker on the window over there, they are going to take care of you folks. Make it car buying made easy, as they say on the radio and TV channels. We'll see you soon. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think of this truck right here, this particular truck, if you own one now. What do you think about it? Are you getting your money's worth out of it? And... Um, What's your opinion about the uh, V6 versus the uh, 5.0 V8? Let me know in the comments and hit that like button. I'm trying to get ranked higher on YouTube and I'm gonna need some help from y'all on the other side. Thank you so much, have a great day. I'm Chad Dobier signing out.